Hello there kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with a vlog, because it's been a damn long time since I did one, and I'm not wearing my glasses because that makes the screen show up on it really, really obnoxiously. <laughs> so, um, you guys probably know what I want to talk about. It's been a damn long time since I talked about it, and in that time... Uh, Markiplier's even come out and talked about it, which is not something that he would usually do, and that was surprising to me, and uh, kind of inspired me to talk about it again, because we have talked about it on the channel a couple times before, and I figured it was a matter of time before we had to talk about it again, because I figured nothing was going to change, and here we fucking are again, not even in the span of a month little over a month, we've had another school shooting today, as of the time I'm recording this. Uh, we had a school shooting in, what was it? School shooting was in Maryland. Um, luckily, only the gunman was killed. Um, and it's, as of right now, the reasons for it are unknown. Um, the only things that are known is that the shooter had a previous relationship with one of the victims, the one critically injured. The second one looks, at least from an outside perspective, to have been collateral. Uh, and in, at least in this particular instance, the school resource officer, in my opinion, uh, did something better than fuck all, like what happened in Florida, and actually took down the shooter. Now, that's entirely possible that it wasn't just the school resource officer. There seems to be a little bit of uh, confliction on that part of the story. Um, the officer did fire one round. The suspect then also shot a round, but it does not sound like it was at anyone. Um sounds like that one might have been at himself. At least this particular time, it wasn't a rifle that, personally, I think there is no reason for a teenager to have. Um, I've actually had a thought about it, and it pisses me off that Trump thought about it after I said it. Or at least someone brought it to his attention, and then he was talking about it, and then he's backed off on it. Yes, that's what he fucking does. <laughs> he talks about a thing and then he backs off from it because he's like, oh, maybe I was a little too hasty when it's, you know, something that actually makes sense. But if it's something that's just completely outlandish or bullshit or racist or whatever, he'll stick to his fucking guns until he's told by someone else to actually back off. So that's usually how it goes. But anyway, uh, I digress from that. My opinion was that handguns primarily uh, are already at the 21 years of age or older. I personally think that semi-automatic rifles like the one used in Florida should be at least relegated to 21. That would have at least kept it out of that kid's hands. This particular kid brought a handgun. I'm starting to think, and there's no real evidence to support this, so I'm saying this just based off my own opinion, but most likely that he just stole it from his parents or family members in some way, shape, or form because it's already illegal for him to have gotten that gun in the first place. It's possible, though very unlikely, that he could have gotten it off the black market as well, that was brought to my attention by a co-worker, but at the same time, until the gun's identity is, you know, at least put forth, if we know it was legally purchased or not, we can then determine what the fuck happened in regards to that. Um, I'm willing to bet it was still stolen from the parents or the family member or something. That said, it was four days before the march of our lives on Washington, D.C., that this incident happens again, even when we're trying to get meaningful change done on gun laws 
uh, despite the NRA's bullshit. <laughs> Even while we're making steps to it, there are problems that cannot be resolved through gun laws alone because these particular incidences are multifaceted problems. They come from multiple different sources that all coalesce into a major issue that ends in loss of life and tragedy. And any steps taken in any of these directions could help avoid this, but no one wants to do anything about that except virtue signal and say, well, we need to do this. No, we didn't need to do this. And they sit and they argue and they bicker over what should be done first, rather than trying to take steps in all directions, because that will at least do something to possibly exponentially lower the rates of these fucking incidences. Helping out with mental health issues, having actual ease to reach these mental health uh, resources that should be more easily available, in my opinion, in the first fucking place, tightening at least some restrictions onto particular guns, semi-autos in particular, especially long rifle semi-autos, that would actually drastically reduce the number of fatalities we see in these unfortunate instances. I personally don't think we need to ban them. Uh, I've talked about this before. I don't think we need to ban them. I think we need to limit where and when they are used in the home for like self-defense for drastic situations absolutely fine as far as i'm concerned um when it comes to running around through walmart with them strapped to your back that's fucking ridiculous to have it on just public open carry it is concerning to everyone around the person especially considering what's been happening recently as far as I'm concerned, keep it in the home, keep it in the car locked until you're going to a gun range to practice with it. Fine by me. Uh, open carrying, running around with it, uh, that's, well, maybe not running around per se, um, but walking around with it in an open carry is just asinine, in my opinion. That said... Open carry of handguns, as far as I'm concerned, perfectly fine. The issue of lethality when it comes between rifle versus handgun is completely different ball game. You could argue that the handgun is far more useful in the interest of self-defense, that meaning yourself or one particular other person, as opposed to the semi-auto rifles that are usually better for large scale or moderate scale uh, skirmishes, which is uh, like home invasions and or, well, <laughs> really, that's it. <laughs> home invasions with more than one person, that's fine for that. Uh, that would absolutely stop a home invader in their tracks, uh, either staring down the barrel of one or seeing one of their buddies get knocked off by it that would be enough personally uh that if it's not enough then you definitely need to end them and quite frankly the semi-automatic rifle well, long rifle like the ar-15 is far better suited for that if it is absolutely a life or death situation the handgun is more of a make sure that they understand you mean business if you have to kill them you can but handguns are less damaging than a semi-automatic rifle in any capacity. But yeah, that's me once again rambling <laughs> on these issues once again, because that's kind of my forte. <laughs> I'm actually happy to see these kids are being the face of this movement to actually take on the NRA, because them, like the millennial generation, are the future of what will happen to this country whether the NRA wants it or not, and to discount these kids' opinions is to resign themselves to the dustbin of history. And they should understand this and know this. But they seem to be insistent on ruining their own reputation with their antics. And that's fine. That's fine. 
Personally, I've had a problem with the NRA's leadership for a long time under LaPierre, uh, who came under, well, came to the leadership position, rather, um, back in the 90s. I was a kid then, so I didn't really know what was going on, but he's kind of warped their ideology into what it has been for the last decade and a half when it comes to these shootings, which is you need more guns to prevent these shootings and only that. And that's not true. That's not true at all. There are multiple avenues we can take to at least try and limit or reduce or eliminate, in some cases, some of these incidences in schools and churches and wherever we could limit these incidences and these tragedies if we're actually willing to take some of those steps and some of them have to be limiting when it comes to firearms we have to draw a line somewhere and we don't need to ban the weapon outright until it's clear that limiting the ability to recklessly buy and use them does not actually impact the rates of these tragedies at all. And personally, I think doing any sort of step will drastically reduce these tragedies from happening. But it seems the current leadership, the current Congress, the current president, the current NRA does not want anything done in that regard. And that's bullshit. It's absolute bullshit. Something is better than fuck all. That's what I've said for fucking years at this point. Doing something is better than doing nothing. Baby steps in the directions that would actually help is better than doing nothing and hoping it doesn't happen again. This is not the world we live in anymore. Things are not just going to go away if you ignore them. There is no ability for that to work anymore. Someone is going to find out, someone's going to try and copy it, or someone is going to break mentally because they don't have the resources they need to actually keep themselves in a decent, stable mental condition, or they're just going to do it for the lulls because they have the access to it in the first fucking place. There is something that can be done, but no one wants to do anything. No one currently wants to do anything. And we all know the people I'm talking about. We all know the people who have blood on their hands for this. And I don't want to throw people who just support the Second Amendment under the bus, but there are people who just refuse to listen to even possibly just slightly limiting the rights of guns over children. Of children, of people, adults in general, because they don't seem to realize that that sort of thing can happen to fucking anyone. It is not just these isolated incidents anymore. It's going on all the fucking time. It is every single week at this point. Every single week there is someone killed from these and it's not always fucking semi-auto rifles mainly it's handguns it's usually handguns the semi-auto rifles account for two percent of all fatalities they do rack up quite a fucking body count when they are used but they only account for maybe two percent of gun deaths in this country so just the slightest, slightest chance we could limit that to maybe fucking zero. Maybe. Maybe 0 0.5 would be better than fucking 2% with a massive body count behind it. That would be something. But no, they don't want to. And I'm not saying it's all the gun's fault. I'm, I know that is the operator themselves that is causing these tragedies. The operator of the gun themselves. But I'm saying that the fact is the fucking gun's ease of access does not help the situation.
And yes, I am happy that Florida did pass a red flag law to eventually find those who are no longer mentally stable after the fact, because that does happen, and will take the guns away from them pending a investigation to further clarify what their mental state is. That is actually a good fucking idea. I like that. The problem is, the NRA isn't just suing that alone, they're also suing the fact that the gun age for Florida gun ownership for semi-automatics in general has been risen to 21 to help eliminate it from the kid who fucking did that in the first place. Because apparently, putting age restrictions is enough for people to get pissed off in the NRA. And I don't see why that is. It's been around for handguns for fucking decades. Why is it a problem with one particular type of long gun? Especially when you consider that the manually reloaded guns, like the pump action, the bolt action, those ones aren't under that purview, as far as I'm aware. Maybe I haven't read enough of the law to actually know if that does impact them, but as far as I'm aware, the ones with the slower firing rate, because they are manually reloaded, do not fall under that jurisdiction. Those ones are still under eight. Those ones are still at the age of 18. So, why is it they feel they need to sue for those laws? Because they don't want anything to get in the way of gun ownership at all. They are a lobbying firm to make sure that fucking gun makers can get their guns into the hands of anyone who's willing to pay. And that's it. The NRA under LaPierre wants more guns in the hands of more people, and they don't care about the mental stability of the person who has it. They think putting more money in their pockets is good enough. Anyway, I've ranted and screamed at my camera for long enough now. I have no idea how much time this will end up taking. <laughs> uh, at the time I'm looking at uh, on my counter, it's about almost a half hour I've been doing this. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to end this vlog for right now before I continue to drone on and on and on. So thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode and video, whatever it may be. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat. Playing games, talking about bullshit because fucking someone has to. And that's about it. Because <laughs> that's kind of what I do for you.